Hi there my friends. Of course this is Jeb Adams and this wonderful sewing machine right in front of us is Patricia and Patricia is a singer 15 well on the on the label there it says 15J uh, the singer 15 series or model model is commonly referred to as a 15 91. I believe this is a 1591. There are 1588s and uh, 1586. I think there's a 1586. I'm not sure about that, but I know there's a 1588. However, uh, this was for sale locally here in Montreal on a uh, popular uh, advertising, excuse me, advertising site. And it was advertised for free. So I contacted uh, the person, and uh, the person's first name is Patricia. That's why this wonderful machine, this beautiful machine, is now called Patricia. And so what I can tell you is that even though the machine was free, I ended up getting a whole lot of accessories and, uh, and even a, an original user's instruction manual in very very good condition we'll see it in a minute I have a bag here with all this stuff so now the thing is that between the time I contacted this nice lady and the time I showed up at her at her uh, place where the sewing machine or about the sewing machine at the house there um, she had googled Jeb Adams and knew that I had a had a channel on YouTube so we can't fault people for thinking that, oh, well, maybe he's in business. That's what he's probably doing. He's going to get this one for free and sell it and make a profit. And so, to make a long story short, I ended up giving the lady $35. And I'll show you some of the stuff that I got for my $35. And uh, even $35 was a huge bargain. So there's this box here, there's this box here, there's a book there, there's a really cool, there's a really cool user's manual, and then what else is there that I need to pull out? There's the button holder, there's also some tracing paper which is for patterns and making cloth uh, products and then there's some oh there's something else oh there's a bunch of uh, bobbins and looks like a foot maybe and then uh, a thimble or two so wow and then some cloth so so how fortunate but anyway, it is a beautiful machine. From what I know of these machines, let me just, uh, I don't want these cameras to shut down on me. From what I know of these machines, by virtue of the, the nose plate, this machine was built 1950 or post-50. Uh, I have another 1591 that I Actually, I didn't want it when I got it because it was such a train wreck, but I ended up with it. I ended up paying 30 bucks for the other one. And um, and it's a 1949 model because it has a different nose plate. It has a, a more elaborate engraving on the nose plate. This one is just the straight, the straight pattern there. So, can you still see there? I think we've got a bit there. Let me just raise this up a little on our... Okay, we're looking at a lot of light there, aren't we? Oh well. How could I change that? Maybe if I shut that one off. Ouch. And maybe shut that one off. How will that do? And we'll back... Oh, I'm back as far as I can go now, I guess. Okay, so fair enough. Time for a sip of coffee. Can I back up? Oh, I better go in a bit. So, I'm just having a sip of coffee here. 
but yes, the decals are are in magnificent condition. There is a little bit of scratch on the gloss from they had a cloth or something around here, and they were you know storing their pens like so many do. Let me see if I can zoom in on uh, that there, my friends. I'm getting a little closer. Okay, so I am going to have to move it, so do that one. And let's go in a little closer still. And so there we can see it says 15J. And then down here is the actual serial number. And, and you can see from looking at it there that, you know, the the decals are really, really nice. And the machine is, is dusty. It was used as it was used as a piece of furniture. So it was always like the top, that's why it's so shiny and nice, because the the lady Patricia had it in her in her home. So anyway, here we have here we have the button hauler. Gee, that's a difficult one to open. That's a tight clasp. So here's the button hauler. And I don't know how these work. I've never used one. I have about, I think this is the fourth one I have. There it is there. Beautiful beautiful piece of machinery and there's some templates for the button holder for making different shapes or sizes of buttonholes or whatever and then there's another little plate in there so these are routinely online for about 20 bucks sometimes they ask more and uh, so that's the one thing that came that I got for the 35 bucks I am really pleased about the uh, 1591 reversible feed lock stitch for family use instructions for using Singer electric sewing machine it says PG built on motor yeah but so yes we got that then there was this Singer La Couture Artistique Singer Brochure de Ronsainement en français. So I'm not I'm not even bilingual let alone fluent so I don't I can read a little bit but I won't be able to read that and uh, but nonetheless an interesting piece of history in here we have a needle threader you got two of them for 30 cents back then apparently here's some more templates for the button holder some more again and then there's a couple of uh, that's for using the multi-slotted binder so we know we've got a multi-slotted binder there's some other little accoutrements in there but we're not going to spend a lot of time with the old Laura Secord um, box we'll just put all these things back down here out of the way and uh, are you having fun my friends I am you know and and this is going to be good you guys are going to like this. So, how's my camera doing here? Am I still focused in? And Let's try and get in a little. Let's back up a little. Do I want to turn it a bit? Probably not, but... Yeah, we'll turn it like that. Anyway... We won't go in there right away, but in this box, first of all, we've got these two screwdrivers. Aren't these the cat's meow? Right? Can you dig those, my friends? And uh, so, and then here is another foot. Oopsie daisy. I can't believe I dropped it. Well, I'm going to have to be more careful. So there's another foot, and here's uh, another one here, right? 
So that's two screwdrivers, two feet. Oh, there's a big foot. Isn't that? Th three feet. Four. Five. Little screwdriver. Little Singer screwdriver. I've got a few of these now. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And then there's a little, little bit of thread on a small screw actually. It looks like almost like a screw actually. Some kind of symbol screw. And I don't know what that is. That, that looks like it came off a pen or whatever for sticking in your pocket so it doesn't fall out. So, you know, um, over, you know, a couple of screwdrivers, three screwdrivers actually all together. There's that beautiful little, I'm going to keep that back in there, keep it all together. So, yeah, I mean, wonderful, really a wonderful um, machine. And what did we get in here? There's a pen there, so we'll throw that in there from whence it came. What did we get in here, my friends? Isn't this great? I, I better put this down so you guys can see. I, I hope I haven't been filming for the last two minutes or three minutes and you couldn't see anything. It's not like it would be the first time, but... Ah, uh, yes. Another screwdriver. Uh, another threader. Some needles. Maybe we were in there already, were we? Anyway, so lots of value there. Now let's quickly take a look at the um, the machine. Let me get this out of the way. Let me get that little stuff out of the way. We'll put it over there. And let's, first of all, the machine has a potted motor, right? Let me get this down so that we can all have a look here. And how are we doing on B-roll there? We're doing good. So here's our here's our potted motor. Let's get B roll lined up here. There, that's a that's a better view. Yeah, there's the potted motor. There's the light. There's access for for the gears, and and you know again. There's the, the potted motor, the hand wheel, the bobbin winder, there's the access for the, the gears. Um, the machine is dusty, as you can probably probably see here. And but we know that, you know. But the machine has, in spite of its dustiness, it's had a reasonably good life. It's it, it's lived inside, you know. And uh, it hasn't been in a in a boathouse or in a garage or barn or whatever. You know, it has had a. But you know, you can see. I mean the. The dust is fantastic. <laughs> you know, I mean. I mean, look at this stuff. Can you guys see that? Look at that. And it's the same down there. But, you know, it's, the machine is in really, it's kind of in good condition. Yeah, there's a little bit of varnish or rust there. But, uh, in general, it's a, it's a pretty good machine. The, the wiring is old. It's still functional, but I wouldn't, well, I won't say it's functional because it is old. It, it needs to be replaced. But anyway, so, that's what came in through the front door recently and uh, it was great because this was West Island just you know in Dorval not too far from downtown Montreal I think there and back it was about 55 kilometers round round way I want to thank you for uh, subscribing and viewing and liking and uh, hitting the notifications bell and and the comments and uh, please do keep coming back um, 
and I'll have a little more on this in the next next week. I do have that old train wreck of a 1591 and it's uh, taken apart a little bit so we'll be able to get a look at that. I also want to get into the uh, the 306. That's an ongoing project because it's so difficult to get into that bike controller. Um, but uh, And then there's the 201K that I also want to keep uh, moving forward with. So lots of things on the, the horizon uh, in general. And uh, once again, thank you for your support when, when you support the channel. This is, this is where the support ends up, um, essentially, finally. And uh, it's so appropriate that it does. Um, I am self-funded. I, I get tremendous value from these machines, and I have a great collection. And thank you for, for viewing. And take care of yourselves. Stay safe and have fun. Ciao, amigos.